Question number 10, Stuart Nash. Speaker. Uh, to the Minister of Police, does she stand by all her statements? Mr. Uh, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, yes. In particular, I stand by my statement regarding this government's $503 million Safer Communities package that, by focusing on specific areas, we will deliver a more responsive police service, prevent crime and victimisation, resolve more crimes and more effectively target criminal gangs and organised crime. But on supplementary. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Well, why do only 15 per cent, or 140 of the new police officers promised, end up in the eight provincial districts that cover 95 per cent of the country? Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, the member misinterprets. So of the 500 that are going to be frontline, they will also be dispersed throughout New Zealand. And then there's another 140 on that that will be um, particularly for rural. But of the 500, a percentage of them will also be spread throughout New Zealand. Point of order, Stuart Nash. Can I table an uh, op-ed from Hawke's Bay today, which is not widely read, probably is widely read, but not widely available, that states order. provincial New Zealand will... Order. It's freely available on the net if members want to bother looking at it. Mr Speaker. Suppl order. Supplementary question, Kanwal Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And my question is to the Minister. How will the government's Safer Communities Package help communities like Hawke's Bay? Oh, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, as I said in my column in the Hawke's Bay today, that I think will be widely read, the Police Commissioner has identified the Eastern um, District, which includes Hawke's Bay, as a priority area for new police. The Safer Communities Package specifically targets the types of crime that are of concern to Hawke's Bay residents, like burglaries, methamphetamine, and comes with challenging targets so we can actually get results. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. What does she say to former police officer Chester Burrows, who said in December that rural staffing levels were dropping and police, quote, have a bigger area to cover with less numbers, and doesn't this just show that her announcement is playing catch-up with years of understaffing and staffing cuts? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Well, Mr Speaker, um, Chester Burrows is one member that has been incredibly supportive of this $503 million package of more than 1,100 police staff coming on board, and particularly the rural, as the member quite rightly identifies, which will see, of course, an increase of stations that will now be 24-7, so going from just business hours to a 24-7 police um, capability right throughout those districts. One of the targets, sir, is that... Um, 95% of New Zealanders will live um, within 25 kilometres of a police presence. These are all great things and one that's well and truly celebrated by my colleague Chester Burrows. Yeah. <coughs> Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Does she think a phone number, which will be directed to an area outside of a caller's city or town, will make up for the fact that over 300 police stations are not open to the public? The Honourable well, Mr. Paula Bennett. Speaker, um, as I said to the member, what we will see is an increase of between 15 and 20 police stations that will go from a currently our business um, our hours to a 24-7 um, police presence. The member actually quite rightly says there's 300 different numbers at the moment, and that is confusing for the public. They don't know when to um, ring 111. They don't know when to try and get hold of their local police station. Um, actually, you're really barking up the wrong tree on this one. The non-emergency number is being um, really welcomed by the public who are really looking forward to it. <laughs> Supplementary. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. When will she do the police force and provincial New Zealand a favour and hand back the police portfolio to the former minister who actually knew what she was doing by requesting significantly more officers for provincial New Zealand? Yeah. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, unlike the member, there are um, uh, 20 ministers inside a cabinet that all celebrate this announcement and what it will mean for New Zealand. More than 59 members of parliament for National that are all part of this, all believe in it and are backing New Zealanders and the police, unlike the member.